while I'm uh, talking an awful lot about my past experiences and a lot of people are waking up to our justice system isn't exactly all that just um, I thought I'd do a video on the first lawyer that I had during my divorce now here is a young guy that you know was really gung-ho really looked at himself as oh I'm a genius and um, worked at a, a, a pretty large firm at the time and I had the, the last dollars that I had it was fifteen hundred dollars that I needed to pay the rent and feed my kids with and I needed spousal support I had a ton of bills that my ex-husband like as a family 20-year marriage we had we had a ton of bills and kids to feed and my ex-husband was now well during this separation he was not going to give any child support or any spousal support so I had gone to court and got uh, a child support order on my own but needed to get um, spousal support because it was a 20-year marriage with four kids and I was a stay-at-home mom and I was trying to go back to school and needed to financially support everybody and my ex-husband then uh, quit his job and the court order to pay child support he was no longer following and this lawyer that I gave my last dime to refused to, to speak with me I was like every three weeks I'd give him a call trying to find out what's going on with my case and he would say oh another couple of weeks another couple of weeks and then another couple of weeks would go by and he'd still not have any information for me and say these things take time and you know it was over six months before anything actually happened I was yelled at by this guy when I phoned and asked about my own friggin case that I paid him money to just file a friggin paper that says I need spousal support 20-year marriage and there's four kids at the marriage this guy refused to file any papers and would yell at me and tell me that I'm a woman that needs to be yelled at so you know here's a, a guy that's uh, gone to Supreme Court you know has made some historical changes in um, divorce law that says you know a deadbeat has to still pay his child support well this is like 10 years later Daniel explain to me why after all of these years that I am the one that had to pay child support for the very children that live in my home explain to me how it is that I don't collect child, uh, spousal support don't collect child support this deadbeat still has not paid his child support has not paid his income tax you know and I'm the one that paid advanced child support where is your law where is the purpose of going to a Supreme Court and and making some you know laws that say deadbeats have to support their children when you can't even get a freaking lawyer like you to actually get off your ass and support people and read their files and actually go into court and and represent them you didn't represent me at all you went into I mean after six months we went into a mediation about friggin visitation and I got no problems with the man visiting his kids I had a little problem with him being extremely abusive at that particular time he actually took my children into a walk-in counseling clinic after my children were grounded for screaming bloody murder and fighting with each other I mean this man was putting them through friggin hell and while they were pissed off at me he ends up coming out of this walk-in clinic saying that I, I um, lock my children in basements for days without food and water now since that isn't true and you know no investigation has ever proven me to be an unfit mother I find it a little abusive that somebody is constantly trying to encourage children to beat the crap out of their mother and a lawyer like this is sitting there you know supporting this deadbeat and not even bringing up the fact that you haven't fed your children in six months you know so there's the quality of our lawyers here in Canada check this guy out Daniel Colburn he you know 
brilliant guy and goes to the Supreme Court, but who the hell is he representing? What the hell good is any laws if no lawyer actually follows the laws and represents their clients? They just take their money and pay attention to you know the client that can give you what thirty forty fifty thousand dollars then you'll work for them but if somebody just has fifteen hundred bucks and they are desperate to feed their kids that case doesn't even get your attention you are the one that will yell at them you will be the one that will abuse them you know you'll take their money you know but do shit for them and then you call yourself a good lawyer and that's what Canada is full of is a lot of lawyers that will only work for the wealthy people and they may be making themselves have a good name by going to you know the Supreme Court but again what the hell good is having a law there when there's no lawyers to actually work for people to enforce the laws that you create I mean it's total insanity but go check this guy out he's worth not hiring if you want to look for justice peace out